Big Island News Center is here at the Kona International Airport for the first annual Hawaii Air Show Invitational. This idea was started by Terry Thomas in 2003. Originally it was decided that it would take place at Hilo International Airport, but it was later decided that Kona International Airport was the ideal location. This is the first civilian air show to take place in Hawaii. Hundreds gathered for the first annual Hawaii Air Show Invitational at Kona International Airport on Saturday. There was plenty for young and old at this air show. Visitors were invited to wander around and examine various aeronautical displays. There were plenty of games for children, including bouncy castles. Several military planes were open for viewing, and the crowd had the chance to check out all aspects of the plane, including the cockpit. The air show began with a riveting skydiving routine. And bring it down, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, bring the head down right now. That's Melissa just touching down right now. The show continued throughout the afternoon with aerobatic tricks from a variety of unique planes. Highlights of the afternoon include Alan Miller's breathtaking feat of landing his plane on a tiny airstrip atop a pickup truck. And the death-defying aerial demonstration by the pilot of an F-16. The day was filled with the amazing sights and sounds of the first Big Island Air Show. So what did you think of the first annual Hawaii Air Show Invitational? I thought it was amazing. I came, <laughs> I came down here for my birthday. I thought I was going to ride in a biplane, but that didn't work out. But I got to see a lot of great action, aer aeronautical action. Did I say that right? <laughs> I think you did. Are you going to come back next year? Sure. Yeah, definitely. It was great. That was wonderful. We need more of this in Hawaii. Yeah. And thanks to Terry for putting it on. I thought the first Hawaii Air Show was absolutely incredible. The organization was incredible. The line when we first got here was incredibly long, but they just moved everybody through very speedily. So obviously the organization was there. The sound I thought was incredible. That's the one thing that I really have seen at other events that hasn't worked well. But the sound was fantastic. Uh, and the show was great. It was awesome. What I liked most about it was the plane swooping down with a lot of noise and then the World War II flying in. The plane from World War II. We've come a long way since J.C. Bud Mars flew in his very first air show in Hawaii in 1910. Next year's second annual Hawaii Air Show Invitational promises even more excitement. As a pilot once said, when the people on the ground start to look like ants, push forward. When the ants on the ground start to look like people, pull back. Well, that's it for the successful first day of the first annual Hawaii Air Show Invitational here at Kona International Airport. I, for one, can't wait to see what they have in store for next year. I'm Kavena Begay, reporting for Big Island News Center.